This video is supported by PCB GoGo. Hi friends, finally again a video from me. Since I was unfortunately sick with Corona in the spring, I had to change my planning a bit. Moreover, I was also in Spain and had no access to my lab. As you may know from my last videos, I am trying to convert a DC gear motor as a closed loop stepper motor. The advantages are obvious. Weight and size of the motor are much lower and we have a much higher power due to the gearbox. By reading out the hall sensors, we are also able to measure the position accurately and if the axis is adjusted manually to reset it immediately to the measured position. So a servo stepper motor on smallest space to realize. So what do you do when you are sick? I just hired someone else at Fivir to redo my motor driver design and was able to realize all my wishes for the new design as a professional. What were my requirements? I wanted the PCB to be smaller and fit on the back of a 20D gear motor. I also wanted to have only two layers instead of the four layers from the last video. It's just more cost effective. Also, this was a wonderful opportunity to test PCB GoGo's PCB assembly service. That is, not only the PCBs are manufactured but also assembled. There is a lot of communication with the support from the company and I show you the process of an order. Where there is light, there must also be shadow. I will also mention that here. Since I was sitting sick in Spain with three weeks of rain, I surfed through Fivir and tried to find a German PCB designer who would rework my design for me. To my astonishment, there are quite a few. After two unsuccessful attempts, too much money or no desire, I found someone who looked at my schematic and wanted to do it. I gave him two weeks time and the whole thing cost 50 euros. I thought that was very cheap considering the time you would have to put into such a PCB design yourself. We communicated a lot via Fivir's chat service what components can, should be used, what should a PCB cost in the end because of the silicone shortage an important point. Also we still managed to squeeze a current sense amplifier on it. In the end it only took 10 days and the design was great. Two layers and very neatly designed, I could never have done better. All the leads had been carefully hand routed and the labels were great too. I was thrilled. So here is the design, we decided on an Atini 826 or 1626. These are 20 pins more than adequate and also available for order. The second were the hall sensors. Here we have two Chinese models installed, but they are pin compatible with common hall sensors. These must be able to switch more than 2 kHz. Also the motor driver is a Chinese model MD9927 is controlled by PWM and holds 1.8 ampere according to data sheets. Pin compatible with the DRV8837, so everything in the green area. Nevertheless, I was curious whether I will get problems in the end when testing, but the price was much cheaper, so no risk, no fun. Also, we had installed with U6 a current measuring amplifier, which measures the power of the motor and is then switched off when the power is too strong. But unfortunately, I already have this in the motor driver as a feature, where we left the design like this for now. A low dropout regulator on 3.3 volt was not missing, so that the logic of the Atini and the motor driver can be supplied. After everything is clear, I wanted to order the design at PCB GoGo with printed circuit board and assembly. I chose the option turnkey, that means PCB GoGo orders the components itself. The good thing about the process is that you have a personal consultant who processes your order and prepares everything for production. You have to specify the quantity of boards, components as well as the shower plug and components on the web page, of course also the assembly site. Then the gerbil files are uploaded. I had some problems with the file that describes the positions of the components in the CSV. I had to edit this by hand and replace missing information, but in the end it was only the part description and the IDs. My consultant was very helpful. Then she sends you an invoice how much all this will cost. This is usually very high, but you can suggest alternative components. For example, you can replace an Atini 1606 with an 826 because it is available for a good price. You can also leave out components that you have or that are not needed, like the current amplifier. All this is then recorded in an Excel sheet, which you get and where the prices of the individual parts are in it. So you can calculate very well and your consultant is also very patient, 
with me went certainly 20 mayors back and forth until we had agreed. Now you have to be patient, on the 13th of May 2022 I placed the order. You can see on the webpage a time lapse what is happening with your order. So PCB production, ordering the components, assembly, etc. so that you always know when what was done and why it takes a little longer. On the 1st of June I got a mail where the first assembled PCB was photographed in high resolution and I was asked if everything is okay. Then it went very fast and I received a message from DHL that the delivery is on the way. On the 9th of June I received the PCBs and I was very convinced of the quality. Unfortunately, DHL then contacted me and wanted to have 50 euros for taxes and service. Well, so we are unfortunately with a PCB at about 20 euros cost. But I'm sure that can be reduced if I produce in Europe. We will see. So let's have a look at the result. The silk screen and also the routing looks very good. I would give the quality a 1 minus as the silk screen has minimal slippage. First, I always test the most important contacts for short circuit. So if mine is ground and plus have contact somewhere. Of course, I do the same with the motor contacts. The next step is to try to upload a program to the Atini over UDPI. I use as usual the package Mega Tiny VR with the Arduino IDE. A small resistor of 4.7 kilo ohm is already enough. Now you could still test with other programs, the motor driver or the whole sensors individually. But that should all work. So I took a shortcut and uploaded the whole code for the DC stepper motor. I was lucky and it worked. Some minutes, but then there was magic smoke and the motor didn't turn anymore. So I took out the multimeter and found the error. Short circuit with ground on M+. So I looked at the motor driver under my new stereo microscope. To the microscope I can only say, never again without. Link in the video description. I could find a suspicious solder trace on the edge of the motor driver chip. Probably too much solder was packed on the ground pads and there was a short. Alright, got another PCB and flashed it, works again. Here is my test setup, you can ignore the old Arduino. It is only used to flash the firmware on the Atini. The smaller Arduino Nano contains the GRBR software for hobby CNC machines. It sends the step and direction signals to the motor. So this motor does not need a stepper driver because it is already on the PCB and emulated by the microprocessor. I also tried to find a good PID setting that prevents an overshoot. Unfortunately I don't know much about PID and basically just tried my best to get the engine to run reasonably. There is supposed to be an auto tune for this but I didn't try it. In the end I downloaded a Windows software to control GRBL. I liked Lazog RBL best. A simple G-code test let the motor turn because I also connected the smaller prototype. Now both turn and could control a laser machine with two axes. So I hope you liked it. I would be very happy if you can give me ideas for the right PID setting. I am as a topic, unfortunately somewhat helpless. Also, I would be happy if you can tell me a motor with or without gearbox, where you absolutely need a X motor module and I should develop that next. I wish you a nice summer. Your Frank.